okay perfect so we can see that uh, it has loaded our image file and it has perfectly marked the boundary box of all the persons so we have one two three four five hello and welcome to rocket systems youtube channel in the previous video we discussed how we can show fps on a live video feed in this video we are going to do uh, inferencing over an image file so we will be detecting persons in an image file so without wasting any time let's quickly create a new file person detection image dot py so we will be detecting persons in an image file you can use any image file or you can even use the file which i have provided in the image uh, in the images directory you can obviously found the link to download these all files from the link given in the description box so let's start by simply using import cv2 import numpy as np and import import im details now after this we have to define the path of our model files so again the model files is also present inside our uh, models directory so let me just quickly show you so we have the face detection model we have the mask detection model and we also have the generic object detection model so in this case we are going to use this generic object detection model so let me just quickly um, mention the path of our model file so proto path model slash object detection slash mobile net ssd deploy dot proto txt so this is the proto path and then next we have to define the model path model path is equals to let me just quickly copy this thing paste it here and then mobile net ssd deploy dot cafe model perfect now once that is done we have to create a detector so let's create a detector equals to cv2 dot dnn dot read net from cafe and then we will define here proto path and then model path perfect now the model which we are using is a very generic object direction model and it has lots of class for example um, aeroplane bicycles bottle buses train tv monitors and there are lots of uh, classes for this model is trained for but out of all those classes we will be detecting persons only so let me just quickly create a variable here classes sorry classes and then let me just quickly paste all the classes which we have so let me copy it and let's paste it so this model is trained for quite a lot of classes so these are all the classes now once we have these classes let's simply read an image file so image equals to cv2 dot im read and we have image here the name is people dot jpg so let's use that image p e o people dot jpg and then let's resize this utils dot resize image width equals to sorry image width equals to let's take 600 now once that is done let's first extract the height and the width image dot shape and then let's create a blob so blob is equals to cv2 dot dnn dot blob from image let's pass image our width and the height and then some other parameters okay 
and now let's pass this to our detector and let's create a person detections variable and then detector dot forward so this is basically going to do inferencing okay now once we have all the results inside our person detection variable we just have to simply use the for loop so for i in np dot range 0 person detections dot shape now let's also calculate the confidence is equals to person detection this is going to give us the confidence and if the confidence is greater than let's say 0 0.5 which means if the confidence is greater than 50 percent then only we will consider it as a as an actual detection otherwise we will consider it as a noise so index equals to int now we are basically calculating the index of our person detections i mean basically the result of the detections and which we will get using this okay now if classes index so because we are just doing inferencing for person so we will make sure that we only detect persons otherwise continue now once that is done we just have to simply draw a bounding uh, bounding box for the person detection so for that we will extract the person detections uh, coordinates and then we just simply use start x start y end x end y equals to person box dos s type and then we will simply use cv2 dot rectangle to draw the rectangle over the image file so image and then here we have to mention our coordinates so start x and then start y similarly end x and end y and then here we will mention the color so let's just simply take red color but you can use any color and then the thickness now once that is done at the end we will simply show cv2 dot im show results image and then again that cv2 dot weight key 0 and then at the end cv2 dot destroy all window perfect so let me just quickly revise so here we are loading our uh, model files we have defined all the classes which our model has we are reading the image file here we are resizing it and then we are finally performing the inferencing at this this particular part and then once we have all the results we are using a for loop to simply check that our result should have a person and the confidence should be greater than 50% once that is satisfied we are simply using I mean we are extracting the person's bounding box in the form of start x start y end x end y and then we are simply drawing the rectangle and then we are simply showing the results here let's open up a terminal let's clear everything and let's run this code so person detection image let's see oops so there is some issue has no attribute shape okay so again we have done a very silly mistake um, image and people.py yeah 
let's run it again and this time let's see oops again so it has some issues again it's not able to load the image file for some reason and if I go back okay so we don't have to put this inside a string so let's do it again okay NP is not defined and why it is not defined because import numpy yes NP yeah now it should be fine okay perfect so we can see that uh, it has loaded our image file and it has perfectly marked the boundary box of all the persons so we have one two three four five persons and it has perfectly marked all those persons which means that our person detection model is perfect working perfectly fine in our image file similarly you can use any other image file or you can even use the set of lot of images and then you can pass them through this detection so this way you can detect images in a, in a persons in an image file i hope this video has been very useful to you and i guess that's all for this video thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe to the channel